All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises due to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweshai, Bashim Rakakwadash. All right, that's the names, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, right, and the Holy Spirit, you know, Yahweh, all right, Bashim, right, or should I say it this way, Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, Bashim, in the name. All right, Yahweh Shai, all right, who the word alien calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai, all right, by Hashem Rekakudash, all right, all right and, and also in the Holy Spirit, you know, in the Holy Spirit. So you would say Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakudash, all right. All praise to the, to the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit, all right. I'm going to say double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the oculus pushing his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Zayan Ma from the GMS Detroit by Camp. And uh, this is going to be a quick video dealing with the Lord's return. And that uh, is funny that even in video games, they, they give, they're putting that spirit out there that uh, um, they're, that basically the earth is being visited, you know, because the scriptures going going that, you know. Um, um, basically, roughly paraphrase of the Lord shall visit the earth that He made, you know, and, and that's that's what's going on, right? The heavenly Father's gonna crack those clouds in that great fathership, right? And have the whole world stuck, have the whole world in awe, right? Uh, Revelation one is seven, right? Every eye shall see Him, you know. So it ain't gonna be no um. No disputing. You ain't gonna have to guess. It's, it's gonna be world news. It's gonna <laughs> you gonna feel feel the power. You gonna feel the energy, right? I thought it was funny that here at this point in time in history, right? That um in this game Fortnite because I, I got hip to it because my son played and I saw the game loading. You know, if everyone got the game, you see the image, you know, that um, Galacticus is, you know, is, he's, you know, on the screen while it's low, you know, larger than life. And um, apparently, you know, they're bringing them to this game now. So in reality, right, Galacticus is basically, basically a representation of the Heavenly Father, right? The creator, right? Hey, at the same time, he's destroyer of worlds as well. All right, and basically the Heavenly Father is coming back to destroy Esau's world, you know, because every world or every nation can be looked at as a world, you know. You have the world of the Israelites being the so-called Negroes, Latin and Native Americans, but as well you have, you know, the world of Esau, Edom, the world of, you know, the Ishmaelites, you know, the world of the Moabites, and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, bad news for Esau is that uh, the Heavenly Father is coming back to destroy his world, meaning his, his, you know, his, his, his time of rulership, his empire. You know what I'm saying? He, he He's about to lay that down. You know, he's about to lay that down. It's like I say, Galacticus is known as destroyer, destroyer of worlds, you know, in the comic books or what have you. So it's... <laughs> perfect timing for this devil to put you know this carriage in the game knowing that you know basically knowing the times that we're in so i'm gonna just read a little bit of this article right it says uh fortnite chapter two season four galacticus is now in fortnite when will galactus galacticus event happen right this is dated uh october 15th 2020 so just a few weeks ago it says, Galacticus hungers, soon he will feast. Kind. <laughs> yes, indeed. Right? It said, it's long been known that Galacticus is going to wind up in chapter 2, season 4. All right, so I guess it's been a build-up, you know, for this for however long. Um, Ever since the Nexus word comic teased last season, Players have been waiting for the devourer of worlds to make an appearance. Kind of. Hey, again, on the 
on the flip side, on 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 the reality side of things, right? We're hey, we're waiting on the heavenly Father to return. You know, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, it's, it's that Zechariah three and eight. You know, we wait. We basically waiting on the Lord. Let me just get there real quick. You know, let me get there really really quick. Is it Zephaniah? I feel like it's Zephaniah. Let me find out. God, Zephaniah. So I get, So this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determinations to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured devoured with the fire of my jealousy okay so hey that's right on cue that's right on point with how you know they they um setting this this uh fortnight event you know let's see let me kind of jump down It says, House of Fine Galactic is in Fortnite. Sharp eyed players will have already seen glimpses of the planet eater. Galacticus cannot travel via the bit for us, so had the bit for us, so had to, so you had to take a longer path, which that's a silly statement. But anyway, <laughs> the bright energy he radiates as he breaks. Through realities can be seen as a distant orange star from the island. Okay. Now, okay, I also pulled this up because um, it's just, like I say, it's just funny the timing of this event with this game concerning the times we live in because coincidentally, well, or really it's no coincidence, but Right, there's been a lot of uh, UFO, so-called UFO sightings, you know, all over the, the earth. You know, it's been especially as of recent where, right, regular people are recording, right, fleets of chariots in all different cities and states across America. I know some more notable ones was uh, there was a sighting in, um, and I, I want to say probably no more than a month ago, right? It was a sighting in um, uh, New Jersey. Um, hell, New York, Philadelphia, um, California, those are a few that, you know, that, that really uh, had people in awe, you know, and, 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 you know, disbelief, if you will, right? But um, here, you know, it's saying UFO sighted alien ship 25 times the size of Earth. Spotted near the sun, he claims UFO hunter. So that's that's a powerful statement, right? If it's any, you got chariots coming out of the sun, bro. Like you not gonna have a shot. How how Esau say you ain't gonna have a shot in hell. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're not gonna have. You're not gonna be able to. It's not even gonna be a competition, right? Of, of Esau, all right, trying to combat uh, the Most High and his chairs, the angels, and all that. It's you know what I'm saying. It's just it's it's a wrap, and um, the scriptures going to that as well, right? This is um, Revelation twelve. Let's see. Yep, twelve and uh, seven, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. All right, Michael, you know, being one of the chief of our angels, right? That's gonna uh, basically stand up, all right, for the nation of Israel and fight, right? Uh, fight the dragon, which is basically Esau, Esau's military and his army. There's dog fighters, fighter jets, and this, that, and the third, right? There's, like, literally, it's going to be a war in heaven. You know what I'm saying? You know? Just think of, uh, 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 damn, that's a good one. 
Um, but, you know, going back to World War One, where you had the dog, dog fighters, you know, they call them, where, you know, had one flying the plane and another one on the back of that of that same plane, you know, shooting, you know, his, his minigun or whatever you want to call it on the back of that. I mean, now things are a lot more, you know, updated. You know, they got missiles and all type of shit, you know, on these, these fighter jets these days, but... The uh, point is, is that all the technology Esau going to bring and use, right, to fight against the Heavenly Father is going to be <laughs> uh, pointless, you know. I just read, hey, this, the chariot came out of the sun. <laughs> so, <laughs> it ain't no power, that it ain't no technology uh, Esau has that can, um, that can, that can level up. You know, to combat that, right? <laughs> in fact, verse 8, it says, And prevail not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So, hey, this Esau is going down, right? The destroyer of worlds is about to end the world of Esau. Right? What the scriptures say for Esau? Uh, yeah, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is, is the beginning of it that followeth. So the Lord is about to put Esau's world to bed. You know, he's about to put Esau's lights out, you know. And then I just thought it was funny, you know, that they they represent these ideals even in video games. Right. They putting that spirit out there. So you can't say what you what you know what I'm saying on the left or the right hand side. You can't say you didn't know. All right. Because Esau, he prophesies on the left hand side, you know through his spells and witchcraft and magic and, you know, his medium, you know, being television and whatnot, right? But then hey, the Heavenly Father also has his prophets, prophets on the right-hand side, using the scriptures to, to break down and prove, all uh, right, everything that, that we say, all right? We, we prove that, uh, that the chariots of the Lord are, it's dealing with the angels. It's dealing with so-called UFOs, right? So that all should be clear for those that have the ears to hear, right? But um, let's see. It says a UFO believed to be up to 25 times the size of the earth has been spotted exiting, right, from the from the sun, according to alien hunters. So yeah, they in trouble, bro. Let's see. It says aliens, whereas they're not aliens, all right? And that, see, and these are the pictures that Esau is trying to paint so that, all right, when the Heavenly Father does actually return, all right, when he cracks those clouds and enter this atmosphere, if you will, all right, everyone's going to be afraid. Everyone's going to be in a, in a, in a, in a space to, to retaliate or to, you know, to defend themselves, right? To fight this alien force, but it's all it's all gonna be for the wrong reasons, and and, and it's gonna just you don't have any, a chance in hell anyway, you know. Like what what you gonna what can you do with something, right? That can stand the the, the, the rays of the sun. Hey, would the scriptures say uh, the, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter in the sun, right? And dealing with the, the uh, concerning the angels, the eyes of the Lord are the angels of the Heavenly Father, right? So you, we, we talking about something that, that has uh, great power, right? So, you know, basically, hey, the the... the the world is going to, it's going to be, it's going to be well, right? The return of the heavenly father, all right? And his son, let's see, it says, um, UFO fanatics and conspiracy theorists tease our imaginations with various theories, all right? UFO hunting enthusiast Scott C. Waring, who often comes up with such theories, all right, which in this case is not a theory. It's, it's all a fact right here. All right. 
And they said Esau Esau speaks in, in, in theories. And that's why, hey, we, we got to clean up his, his, his shoddy work with the Bible, right? And, and break things down so that our people can, you know, can can, can understand, right? Um, who often comes up with such theories has now claimed that he has spotted evidence of a huge UFO, 25 times the size of the earth near the sun. And that's not... Uh, far fetched or hard to believe because when you read Second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter, right, it goes into <coughs> how basically Ezra saw basically that great fathership that looked it appeared to be uh, like like the size of a mountain was so big, it was so huge, you know. So you know these devils know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? They know what time it is. It's it's the point I want to get at. And, um, you know, Esau is, is, is so bold to even put in his games. Like I say, to put that spirit out there that something, all right, is fastly approaching the earth. Right? It said, what's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No. It's Galacticus coming to destroy everything. Kind. And that's what the Heavenly Father is going to do. He's going to destroy this place, right? In certain parts of the earth, you know, because hey, this earth, it has to be cleansed. There's too much filth, too much wickedness that's, you know, abounding at this point. And it's, it's got to be, you know, put to rest, right? That's the only way, you know, that Jacob is going to be able to rule. You know, you can't have two kingdoms ruling at the same time, right? So, <laughs> the, wor the the Lord is coming to destroy Esau's world, right? You know, and that's how it's going down. So, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying with that, you know. I just want to give all praises due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Kakudash, the honest the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace of salutation to the Akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.